Hey, it's Jennifer from Happiness is Homemade 4. And welcome to my channel. All right, y'all, today we are gonna make a big bee scape. Kind of, you know, like a big bee hub using everything from Dollar Tree. Um, all right, what you're gonna need? A pot. A pot from Dollar Tree, wherever. You may have a pot around the house, but um, I showed this in my Dollar Tree haul last week. Look, so get whatever size pot you want. I chose this one right here because I love the shape of it. So basically when you see a pot, turn it upside down. And if that looks like a beehive to you, then grab it. So this, also you're gonna need rope, <laughs> a lot of rope. Um, this right here is the nine and a half foot from Dollar Tree. I'll let you know by the time we're done, like how many I use. So that way if you happen to grab the same pot, you'll know what to get. But you definitely want to grab at least five, I would think. Now, if you're going to get to do like something small, just kind of look at it and think if it'll wrap around it. Mainly, what you're going to need, a pot, rope, hot glue sticks. You're going to need a lot of hot glue sticks, flowers, ribbons, whatever you want to use, bees. Also, the adorable little bee from Dollar Tree, the, the one that's like climbing the ladder. It's like the little, um, little pot hugger. That's adorable. You want to get one of those too. <laughs> but all right, as always, I'm going to adjust the camera that we can see exactly what we're going to do. So, okay. All right, we are going to try this angle today. This way, I feel like right here, you can see exactly what we're going to do. All right, so we're going to take our Dollar Tree rope, which is nine and a half feet long. Yeah, this is so easy to make. All right, so what you want to do you're just gonna start along the bottom. Just put just a little hot glue right here. Lay your rope right into that hot glue, right along the bottom edge. And you're just gonna continue, just a little bit of hot glue, kind of here and there. Set that down, put my rope right into it. And just kind of push that into that hot glue. glue it to your countertop. <laughs> All right, so really quick, I'm just gonna go ahead and just keep doing along the bottom right here, just a little bit of hot glue. Kind of work in small spaces too, like a small area. I'm gonna come right here where I just started everything. All right. And I'm just gonna hold this until that completely dries. Now, all you have to do is, we're now gonna go up and over. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is, you're gonna take a line of hot glue and you're gonna go right on top of that rope. This little hot glue kind of get us started. So I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna go up and over. I'm gonna make sure I don't have a big gap or anything. I want that to be like right on top of each other. And two, this right here, this will be the back side of our beehive, or bee skeep. All right, now, all you're gonna do is just a little bit of hot glue here, kind of move over a little bit, a little bit more hot glue, and then you're gonna lay your rope right into that hot glue and we're just gonna layer our rope. And just remember, make sure you don't have any big gaps. All right, kind of go around, a little space. And then once again, I'm just gonna lay that right in to my hot glue. Roll that down, make sure I don't have any gaps. And just keep Going around, just hot glue. <laughs> All right, and you're just gonna repeat all the steps. So you're just gonna keep repeating this until you come to the end of your rope. Look, right here. That's where we started and that's where I went up and over. Same thing. I'm gonna put some hot glue right there and I'm gonna go up and over that right there. So now once again, I'm just gonna take that and I'm gonna go up 
and over right on top of each other. See, just like that. All right, <laughs> same steps. Just a little bit of hot glue. Then push your rope into your hot glue. All right, so we're right back here again. So once again, hot glue. And I'm just gonna take this and go up and just stack it like we've been doing. And just push that into there, into that hot glue. This is seriously like one of the easiest crafts that you can do. Alright, so we are coming to the end of our first rope. This right here was one package of the rope. So I'm just kind of get this hot glue onto here real quick. And just main thing, just make sure you don't have big gaps anywhere. All right, there is one package of the rope. Now, all you're gonna do, just take your very next thing of rope, right up against where you just ended, put you some good hot glue right there. Take your end, and just butt those two up together. Okay, y'all, all you're gonna do is just continue to hot glue and wrap around this. So this right here will be the biggest bee skeet that I have made so far. <laughs> we made like a really cute um, tear tray size, I guess two summers ago. Now this will be the biggest one that I have made. Now I will say, <laughs> make sure you have plenty of glue sticks. And the more comfortable you kind of get, you know, as you're going, you're gonna get more comfortable with it. You can start doing larger areas. You know, a little hot glue, kind of move over, hot glue. And then it's so much easier after you get going just to lay your rope right on top. You just always wanna make sure, push that into that hot glue really, really well. Cause you'd hate to do all this work and then for it to fall apart. Hot glue, move over, hot glue, hot glue. And then just wrap it around. All right, once again, we're coming to the end of our rope. Same thing though, nothing different, same exact thing. Push that in. I will put a little extra hot glue though at the end. Just a little bit, a little extra. Now I'm gonna hold that really well to make sure that, that um, the end does not come undone. Could you always, oh, I cannot stand stringy hot glue. And this is even name brand. <laughs> I thought name brand would be better. It is not, it's still stringy. So just make sure you know you always clean up your hot glue. All right. Y'all, this is just repetitive. So this is just repetitive until we get to the top. So we're just gonna keep adding until we get up here and then we'll do this step together. But real quick, right up against this right here. Put me some hot glue. Take the end of this new rope, put it right up against it. Smash them kind of together really well. All right. Same thing, like I said, hot glue and attach your rope. That's it. All right, so this is our fourth 
bundle of rope. So, <laughs> same thing. A little, little hot glue right there. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit more hot glue right here. Push it right up against that. Don't do too much though. That way it doesn't come running down like mine just did. So I'm just gonna clean that up a little bit. All right, time for rope number five. So as you notice, we're getting really close to the top. Um, I'm just gonna keep going around this really quick. You know, especially as it starts to get smaller, you just wanna make sure you watch your gaps in between your rope. You're good. I love you too. All right, see? We're looking like this. I'm gonna keep going around. I'm gonna adjust your angle to your view. Okay. It's just the same thing. Put your hot glue and then just wrap your rope all the way around. Like I said, just watch your gaps, especially now that the shape is starting to change because it's flat. So it's gonna be a little bit different. Same steps, but you know, you just kind of have to like work with it a little bit. Oh, I've gone through like six glue sticks already. It's crazy. I think I've noticed too, is I have a cordless hot glue gun and I think after I use it so much it starts to cool down, I think that's when it gets stringy. Now you notice, I put hot glue right against the rope like we have been doing. All right, see, right there. We'll put the hot glue right along the rope, just like we have been doing the whole time. And then you're just gonna push that into that hot glue. Same thing, hot glue along the So now you'll see um, the rope is now gonna start going this way. Once again, watch your gaps. See, there's some hot glue on the pot right along the edge of the rope. And I'm going to twist and push that down into that hot glue, just like that. Okay, are you ready for this? What you're gonna do is, because we've got this much left, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take another one, like a whole new bundle. All right, so I'm gonna take about this much right here. I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut that off. All right, so this right here, y'all, I didn't measure, but it's about, actually I did it, <laughs> it's like eight inches. So that's how I'm gonna cut mine. All right, first off, you want to figure out where is the front part of your beeskeep. Um, so I do know back here is where we started, so it kind of goes up a little bit. Um, all right, this right here, I'm gonna use as my front. So I'm gonna sit this down here, facing me. The little piece of rope that we just cut, I'm gonna put some hot glue right here on the side, and then over here on the opposite side. Just like that. And I'm gonna take one end into that hot glue and I'm gonna loop it. I don't, I don't need that much. <laughs> That's kinda long. And I'm gonna do this end into that hot glue. I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna press that down really firm into that hot glue, both sides. 
think instead of cutting this at eight inches, probably like six inches is pretty good because I just cut off about an inch and a half. All right, so now do you see our little loop that we have? Okay, so that is now hot glued on there. Once again, all right, so now we are just gonna continue the same rope that we've been using that's still attached. You're just gonna continue. Go all the way around, putting the rope right up against it. Make sure you don't have any gaps. See how that's looking? So you see right here where our rope is like hot glued down, you're just gonna go right over top of that. You're almost gonna act like that's not even there. Just keep on hot gluing like you have been. So I'm gonna go right over top of that little rope right there that we hot glued on. And I'm just gonna continue to push that down into place. All right, same thing. I'm gonna come over here on this side Hot glue right over top of that. All right, so I just went right over top of there. Hot glue that. All right, now you see, we just have a small little area left. All I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna go in between our loop right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put hot glue right here. I'm just gonna completely fill in our area. Just put a bunch of hot glue down in there. I'm now gonna twist our rope very carefully without burning myself. But I'm just gonna twist it around down in there. I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna push that down into that hot glue. All right, so now I got this little the end kind of sticking out right here. Once again, I'm gonna put a bunch of hot glue right down inside there. I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna try to shove that end down in to the center and into that hot glue. All right, look how good this is already looking. The top is very clean. So here is my front. You see my adorable little loop right here. All right, so now what you wanna do is you wanna take your next thing of rope um, and we're gonna make our little door. So, you know, the front of your beeskeep, you wanna determine how big you want your door to be. You can make it as big, little, whatever you want. All right, I think that right there is a good size for me. So, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna cut this off. And in case you're wondering, this is about eight inches. <laughs> I keep cutting eight inches. I'm not even like pre-measuring. But yeah, so they've been about eight inches. All right, so right down here, kind of like, you know, we're, um, it's like right down here, the center of my little loop. I'm gonna put some hot glue right there. I'm gonna put the end of my rope into that hot glue. my scissors, push that into place, hold that really tight. All right, now for me personally, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, loop that around, get my little shape that I want, and I'm gonna take this end, and I'm also going to hot glue this down right here. All right. So I have my shape. Now all I have to do, I'm gonna pull this down very lightly. I'm gonna put hot glue on the back of this rope. I have our little door right here. Just a little thing of hot glue going all the way around this. And now I can tap that into place. It has the shape that I want. So now we're gonna take black paint. Y'all, you know I love Apple Barrel Paint, Walmart. The small thing is like 50 something cents, and this big bottle is like $2. So 
So any black paint that you want. All right, take your paintbrush. Now we're gonna paint inside of our little door. Be careful not to get it like on your outside rope. And you could always, like if you wanted like, to draw your door first, paint your door, then hot glue the rope, you can do that. <laughs> I tend to do things a little more on the difficult side. <laughs> yeah, I've been told my whole life that I'm hard headed, so. All right, just get the whole inside of your little door, paint it up. All right, look at that. Okay. Okay, we're not done with this right here, but I wanna make sure that this dries really well before we do our next step. But we are gonna move on to the top. All right, y'all, I love Buffalo Check Ribbon. You can use any ribbon that you want. This is from Dollar Tree. I think this was like either from the fall or Halloween section, but we're gonna make a bow. All right, I'm gonna start with a clean end. Kind of straight. Okay, so what I do for my bows. All right, I do a pinch, what I call a tail. So I have that right there. While my ribbon is dangling straight down, all I do is I bend it and loop it up towards the back. It went straight down. I just lift it up towards the back. I'm gonna pinch it right there where I was pinching that tail. And that gave me my first little loop. Okay, there's that. Now, this right here, I'm now gonna lift straight up into the air and I'm gonna bend it forwards, okay? So it's straight up, bend it down forwards. Once again, I'm gonna grab it and pinch it right there with everything else. Now, I have two loops. You wanna make sure your loops are about the same size of each other. So you just grab them and kind of measure it out. This one is a tad bit bigger. All I have to do is just adjust it just a little bit. Pinch that again. Okay, so now that I have all that pinched right there, I'm now gonna tape, take a pipe cleaner. You can use any color you want. I, just, I have this beige color, which matches that almost perfectly. So while that's being pinched right there, you just take your pipe cleaner, lay it right across the center, and you just kind of bend it, wrap it around it. I always try to get my, um, my ends the same length of each other. All right, so I have it like that. And now I'm going to twist this as tight as you can around your loop. Okay. And then you're going to adjust your little loops. All right, so you got that. Now I'm gonna cut this off. All right, we're looking like that. I'm gonna dovetail my ends, take that, fold it over in half, just like that. While this is straight up in the air, on the folded side, not the open, like on the fold, I'm taking my scissors, I'm gonna cut up and then at an angle, and you get like your perfect dovetail. Same thing, turn that, fold that over in half, on the seam, like where I folded it over, I'm gonna cut up at an angle. So, our little loops, I'm gonna take my pipe cleaner, I'm gonna go in between that little loop right there, and I'm just going to just kind of give this a little tight twist just to hold it into place. All right. And just kind of play around with your loops, adjust them. We may need to trim our ends. All right, so we're looking like that right there. <laughs> All right, now, y'all use, I love, daisies so i've got this big beautiful bundle this is from michael's but i love like all the greenery that comes with it so i'm gonna have this and then dollar tree also look these are dollar tree daisies these are so pretty walmart also has great daisies so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go and take the stem and i'm going to cut it off where's my okay i went ahead and i just trimmed off a couple stems all right, let's play around and make this beautiful. All right, so what you're gonna do is, now you're just gonna take your flowers, you're gonna play around with it until you get it how you love it. All 
Okay, I'm just playing around with this and try to get this, you know, just right. And you'll notice I'm not hot gluing any of the flowers on just yet. I'm just kind of like sliding them into place until I figure out how I like it. All right, I think I'm gonna go for the more full top kind of cascading down look. So, once you get your flowers figured out exactly how you want them, all you have to do, pick up your stem on the end, put you a bunch of hot glue, and then just hot glue it right onto the top of your bee skeep. Or you can put hot glue on the top and just put your flowers down into it, whatever you, works best for you. Turn this around. Back here, I can see my stems where they're sticking out from the flowers. Take my hot glue gun. I'm gonna put a bunch of hot glue like right there and there. And then that way I can just take my scissors and push those stems down into that hot glue. Okay, now that that is neatly hot glued back there, let's turn this around so we can kind of adjust it. Ooh, look how beautiful that is looking. All right, so my bow looks good. It's a good length, good size. So back here, my little twist has, I am gonna give that just a couple more little twists because I only have it one time. Twist that. Now, right at the end of my little twist that I did, I'm gonna cut off, I'm gonna cut off all my excess tails. And I'll bend that and push that into like my loop. And the leaf will cover it. I just popped off a couple of, like this little head right here. I'll put some hot glue like right up here. Boop. And I'll put that into it. Just to add a little bit of flower, like cascading down over here on this side. Oh my gosh, I am loving this. <laughs> All right, like I said, you know, I love my strawberries. I love lemons. Um, I wonder if we could work these strawberries and lemons onto here. I could take like the medium size ones and I could hot glue them. Something like that. One over here. Oh my gosh, y'all. Look, I think I'm loving something like this. <laughs> okay, um, we are gonna figure this out really quick. So from where I had to cut off, so like the stems of the flowers, the little extra piece that I cut off. I'm gonna take that lemon. I'm just gonna stab it into the lemon. Because it's green, you know, it's a stem from the flower. All right, we can do something like that. And then add a strawberry to it. Another one of the little ends that I cut off from the flowers. Stick that right in there. All right, so do I do a lemon up there? Oh my gosh, can y'all hear Bailey? <laughs> Bailey and they're storing on the couch. <laughs> Here is what we are looking like. I do, okay, I really do like this. I'm gonna go ahead. Oh my gosh, and Presley's upstairs. My, <laughs> my house is so loud today. Presley and Riley and Presley's boyfriend are upstairs playing video games. Oh my gosh, Presley is so daggone loud. It's funny, but she's so loud. So I'm gonna put hot glue on the end of the little stem right here, okay? Bunch of hot glue right there on the end. That way I have control. And I'm gonna stab, poke that down into the top of my arrangement. Okay. Same thing with this. Hot glue on the end of this stem. Just a bunch of hot glue right here on the end of that. I'm also gonna take this And I'm gonna poke that right there. Hold that, let that dry. So it's gonna put a little hot glue onto the strawberry. <laughs> yeah, don't burn yourself. And I'm gonna stick this just like right here. And it's gonna to attach to this leaf. All right, I'm gonna put some hot glue right here on the end of my strawberry. Just put some hot glue right there. Push that down. 
into my little bow. Okay, <laughs> y'all, I'm loving this. I love to decorate with strawberries, lemons, bees, and blueberries. <laughs> I've kind of got this little like blueberry like bush little, um, from Hobby Lobby. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna pop off a thing of greenery. I'm gonna pop off three of the little blueberry little like heads. Just pop them right off here. Just right off that little stem. See, just like that. All right, so I got three of these off. I'm gonna take some of the greenery so I can fill in like right here. I got a little open, a little empty space. Just put a little hot glue right here on the end of my little stem. Kind of put it up in there. I'm gonna take some of our little blueberry little picks right here, little ends. And we're gonna add some blueberries to this. And this is gonna be like my perfect summer right here. Put some hot glue on the end of this little stem. Right. Hot glue right here on the end of this one. Oop. Oop. Right. I think I'm gonna stick it like right down here between the strawberry and the lemon onto the end of this one. All right, and now I'm just going to put it right down here. Okay, <laughs> I'm so excited. I am loving this. Okay, now our bee from Dollar Tree. Y'all, I love him. He is so stinking cute. Um, So this Dollar Tree, you can go right now. They have him. Now last year, Dollar Tree had the little wooden sticker bees and, and they had ladybugs too last year. I have not seen them this year, but you can get these at Hobby Lobby, um, Amazon sells these, Timu, Michaels, anywhere sells these kind of little bee stickers, and they're wood. So, we're gonna add these onto here. Okay, first step, what we're gonna do is, you're gonna take your hot glue gun, we're gonna make honey. So, I'm gonna take my hot glue gun, and I'm just gonna put a bunch of hot glue and I'm just gonna let it kind of like cascade down. Okay, and I'm just gonna let it run, kind of do its thing. And wherever it stops and dries, that's our honey. <laughs> I, do, I want a little bit more like up this way and there. I cannot tell you how many times like my husband's been sitting here and I'll rub his hand and he'll be like, what is that? What is on the countertop? I'm like, oh, it's probably hot glue. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna take that maize color. All right, so now that the, um, what is this? <laughs> hot glue, now that the hot glue is dried, we're now gonna take our paint, whatever color you wanna use or you don't even have to do this if you don't want to, this step. But wherever the hot glue is, we're gonna paint that. Now you will have to probably do two coats because painting hot glue, it doesn't always like cover very well the first time. At least for me, it doesn't seem to. Once you get it painted, if you want more, and just some more, you know? Just do more hot glue and let it dry. All right, look. Look at that. I am loving this right here. All right, I'm gonna let this continue to dry, but we're gonna take some of those little wooden bees from Dollar Tree. Oh, let me get the best looking ones. Okay. They are little stickers on the back, but the way I'm gonna position mine, <laughs> but the way I'm gonna put mine, the sticker won't actually like touch. So, put a little bit of hot glue. You know what, I'm just gonna put hot glue on the back of this little bee. Just a little there. Just kinda everywhere. On the back side of my little bee right here. See like right here, like his little head is right up against that honey. See it? Look how cute. <laughs> 
Alright, I gotta show you that up close. Look how adorable. See that hot glue in it? His little head is hot glued right there by the honey. Over here. Like he's trying to get down to the honey. But I'm also gonna put some hot glue too, because I don't know how well that sticker is actually gonna hold onto this rope. <gasps> I just burned myself. <laughs> So we have two, one there, one there right there. All right, we're gonna hang on just a second because I also wanna make sure we get this adorable little bee. So let me cut this off. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do to this. This right here, I'm gonna take my Dollar Tree black and white gingham, gingham ribbon, the little bottom of the little ladder right here. I'm gonna stick it right through little bee's legs. I'm gonna tie a cute little bow, just a basic, simple little bow, just like tying my shoes. Okay, look how cute. That is adorable looking. Now, you see, it's got these little hooks right here because it's meant to be like a pot hugger, like a pot holder. All I'm gonna do is, well, you know what? Those are like glued, really. <laughs> so I'm just gonna like straighten that out. See that, I just straighten it. Now I'm gonna bend that straight there on the back. <laughs> Those are glued really well. So I guess that's a good thing that, you know, not when you're trying to get them off. There you go, let's kind of work it, work it. All right, so now we have a clean little ladder look. Got that. And then look, our little bee right there, like it's climbing up to get all the good stuff. Hot glue, kind of all over back here. Oh my gosh, y'all. This turned out so daggone cute. I love this. I have, now, like I mentioned before, I love to decorate with bees, strawberries, lemons, blueberries, daisies. This is my spring and summer decor, plus patriotic. But if you don't like the fruit, you do not have to do the fruit. Do whatever you love. Um, get some sunflowers, get daisies, get some beautiful, like colorful flowers. You know, whatever you like, whatever ribbon you like. This right here, you know, of course I made because I love it, but too, it's just to give you inspiration. That way you can do whatever you want. But ha, I'm so happy that we did this together. And I love in the hot glue as if it's like honey pouring out of it. And then just painting it that yellow. And I tell you what, this little bee, from Dollar Tree is so stinking cute. Adds, get you some ribbon, add your little bow to it. And like I said, those um, the little back little hooks, they just broke right off. You know, but having that little bee, like he's climbing up the little ladder to get to the um, the fruit, I think that is so cute. <laughs> uh, and two, the little wooden bees. If you cannot find them at Dollar Tree, because I have not seen them this year at my stores, um, like I said, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Amazon, Timu, they all sell these little wooden bees and the ladybugs. I have a big old blue jay <laughs> in my little bird feeder at the window. Um, but this, I love it. Y'all, I have so many more bee ideas. So if you wanna see more bee crafts, let me know. Um, bees, lemons, all that kind of stuff. And I've got a really cute lantern idea. So, let me know what you think of this. And, y'all, we have a bee playlist. So, if you want to see more bee crafts that we've done over the years, I'm going to link it down at the bottom. Or, the very end of this video, I can add a playlist to it. So, when the pictures pop up at the end, click on it, and it'll take you to, like, the bee playlist. We have done some really cute things over the years. And I think pretty much everything has been from Dollar Tree. <laughs> um, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you give me a thumbs up because it really does help our channel. And if you want to do some more crafting and shopping, <laughs> there goes the dryer. If you want to do more like crafting and shopping hauls and stuff with me, make sure that you're subscribed. Click that little bell to all. That way you're notified for everything we do around here because you never know what we're going to do. But all right, that is it. I hope that you have a wonderful day, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye guys, thanks for watching.